the only place you belong is in the campfire. In the name of Randy Jackson, campfire cutie. That's a no for me, dog. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches because that's how simple we keep it around here. So continuing with the holiday gift sets, I have for you today something from Sephora. It is the Sephora Frosted Kisses Lip Story Set. Obviously, this is a holiday themed or Christmas themed set from Sephora. Um, and it gives you two free lip stories in there as well. And it's just it's just an overall beautifully packaged set of lipsticks. So I will get this opened. So we can start seeing how these look, right? And I believe that they are different finishes as well. They usually are. Let me see. Um, so it says there's like radiant gold, reds, deep purple, and even a holographic blue. So there's something for everyone and every look. So the first one I'm starting with here, I will just go down the line as per usual. This one looks like a pinky nude color. This is number 36 and this is in the shade Ice Dancing. That's so cute. So this looks like a pinky nude. Um, it might be like a mauve looking at it now. So let's get into the hand swatch. Ah, this is actually a cream finish. So we're starting off with the cream, which is nice. Okay. Um, You know what? It's not like, it's not a color I haven't seen before. It's, there's nothing unique to it. It's pretty, let's just start with that. But I have seen this color before. It's a beautiful pinky nude, but there's also some hints of like, uh, probably like a purple, maybe that's a stretch. But there's still another color in there that's kind of um, hidden. And I know that I have this color in something else already. But it's pretty. It's just, it's a pretty color. I like it. It's more of your everyday 9 to 5 lipstick. Wear it to work, wear it to church, wear it to happy hour with the girlfriends. It works. It's not too loud or anything. It's a safe color. That's the term or phrase or word or words I was looking for. It's a pretty safe color and I feel everyone would be comfortable wearing a color like this. So overall, I think it's really pretty. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this color. Up next, we have number 31, and this one is called Sweater Weather. Okay, Sweater Weather is ooh, a nice deep berry. Now this is definitely your winter color. And it's also a matte finish. So the first one was cream. This one is a matte finish. But what I like about these as well is that it's such a creamy matte. 
the mats almost feel the mats almost feel like they should be a cream because of how creamy the consistency is ah that's pretty and i know a lot of people are kind of turned off from like deep berries like this but honestly these look so pretty and i know it might take a while to get used to dark colors like this but you can always start off with a lip gloss that is somewhat of this color until you get more comfortable gosh the consistency and this is amazing just look how easily this applied is this really a matte finish it is What I love about deep berry lipsticks is that they are so, or they can be so mysterious looking. They can be a little bit flirty, a little bit dark and mysterious. Like you just, you never know the mood. And that's what makes it so pretty to me. Like a dark, a dark berry lip is all sorts of moods and you just, there's not one that you can actually pinpoint. They're just all mixed in together. And that's what makes it so interesting and mysterious. So I like this one. If you guys like it, then yeah, go ahead and thumbs up this video. All right, next shade up is number 71, and this one is looking like a yellow gold or some sort. Uh, it's called Campfire Cutie. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is... See it for yourself, what I'm talking about. So, I don't know if you can see the shimmers in there, but this is like a... Almost like a mustard yellow with shimmers in there and it is of a metallic finish so so far we started off with a cream then we had a matte and this one is a metal finish Whew. i don't know how i feel about this one and i haven't even worn it yet oh my gosh yikes this might be a little bit too much for me yeah, peep the shimmers in there if you can. This might be a bit much. I am literally scared to put this on. The things I do for YouTube. I know my lips are a little bit stained from the previous color, but I don't think that should really affect this one because this one is loud. Oh my God. Wow. No, on camera it looks a lot more muted. In front of me though, it's... I'm almost looking like the Tin Man. Like seriously. This is... This could be a bit much. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. It's a lot more loud in person, you gotta believe me. It's. It's like bright yellow in front of me, and the metallic effect of it is just. I'm making it a little bit worse. <laughs> On camera though, I look good and it's a little bit more muted, but in front of me, it's a different story. Trust me. I look like the Tin Man. I kind of look like gold aluminum foil. This lipstick is going to make someone happy. It's just not me. It's just a little bit too much for me. 
I don't know where I'm gonna wear this lipstick. You know what? There is a time and a place for everything, so I'm not gonna knock it because I'm pretty sure I can find some place to wear it. But more than likely, it's gonna stay tucked away in a corner somewhere out of sight, out of mind. So what do you guys think about this color? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, that last one was a lot. Campfire cutie. The only place you belong is in the campfire. In the name of Randy Jackson. Campfire cutie. That's a no for me, dog. It's not gonna happen. So we're just gonna move right along to the next color. And this one, ooh. This is shade number 23 and it's called Cabin Fever. I like it already. So this one is more of a red burgundy shade it's looking like. It has a cute little barn printed on the packaging. This is a matte finish. So this is the second matte finish that we're going to be doing. And you guys know I love me a good red lipstick. Well, it's looking more like a brick red, which I am not mad at because a red is a red. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. You know, there's nothing special about it. It's just a red lipstick. But you can just never go wrong with a red lipstick. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I have this shade of red already in my collection. But the more, the merrier. So I don't think I have anything bad to say about this color. A red is a red. A red is a red is a red. You either love it or you hate it. There is no, there is no in between when it comes to this color. Either love it or you hate it. And right now I am loving it. I like this and that's all I can say. It's a beautiful red lipstick. Nothing more, nothing less. Moving right along, we have got number 69, and this is the shade Winter Blizzard. The packaging is white and pink. I know you can barely see it, but it's cute. It's cute. It's a beautiful winter picture on there. Whoa! What in the winter wonderland is this color? And it's a metal finish. You can't even see it. It's not even showing up on my viewfinder there. But this lipstick is white with iridescent shimmer. Just so you know what I'm working with here. All right. Oh! But it's swatching purple. Okay. That took me by surprise. Okay. That really did take me by surprise that it swatched a little bit purple. Oh. Mm 
not bad. This is a metal finish, same as Campfire Cuties, but I would more than likely wear this than Campfire Cuties. I think we established that. This color reminds me of a lip gloss from Bella Pier. So Bella Pier, they have some holographic lip glosses and this one reminds me of it, of one of your lip glosses. Do you see how beautiful this is though? Compared to Campfire Cuties, this color is beautiful. It's nice and subtle and it has that fun iridescency going on. And the metallic finish of it, I feel like it's not overwhelming. It was, it was really overwhelming to me with Campfire Cuties. But this is an acceptable metallic finish for me, for my liking. I can work with this. I can definitely work with this lipstick. It's fun and it's cute and I really don't feel any shimmers in there. It's creamy as well. These lipsticks, all of them are creamy. They should just all be a cream finish. Even the mattes are creamy. I like this color, honestly. This is what I would wear over Campfire Cuties. I like this. And I underestimated it because it was a white lipstick and I thought that I would look like a corpse the minute I put it on, but I was very pleasantly surprised. And that's all I've got to say. Well, lastly, but not leastly, we have number 58, and this is a Snow Day. Snow Day is looking a lot chocolatey. Look at the cute little dog. Ooh, this is a matte. So I think they were like three matte finishes in this set. Look how chocolatey this looks. Ooh, that is a nice brown. I like that. You can't do winter without a brown lipstick. That's like an essential color. Oh, wow. I can't get over this formula. Listen, I feel like their formula has gotten better and better every single time. See, a brown lipstick is very similar to that um, deep berry one where it's all about the mood. It gives you that mysteriousness about it. And that's how I feel with this lipstick too. It's all about the moody looks. Imagine this with a nice chunky sweater with um, some Uggs and leggings just for a super laid back casual winter look. This is beautiful. But what do you guys think? This is a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Well, this is my decision.
So that was my review on the Sephora Frosted Kisses Lip Stories. I feel like these lipsticks do not get the recognition they deserve. I'm just going to put it out there because they have some of the best formula. Like seriously, the best formula and they're so inexpensive compared to other non-drugstore lipsticks. They're so affordable and the pigmentation is incredible. They're opaque, they're creamy, they're rich. And um, yeah, and I feel like they're, they're not talked about as much, but they're so good. But I think this is an excellent set. I'm a huge fan of their formula. And like I said, their matte lipstick is not really like a true matte, I would say, because it's so creamy. And they will, and because of that, it will transfer a little bit. So yeah, just so you know, it will come off um, as you eat and drink. But it's a great set to try out, to gift for someone. You will really like these lipsticks. And sometimes they go on sale for like $4 and I stack up on more when they're on sale. So yeah, this set is definitely a winner for me. And if you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell because there is no other way of you knowing when I upload a swatch video. And if you're interested in seeing these swatch videos, then you gotta click the notification so you know when I upload my videos. I will be having more swatch videos or holiday lip sets coming. So yeah, make sure that you are notified and aware of all my uploads. But with all that said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye.